first thing is to copy the OS to SSD so I got the Samsung SSD and Sovereign 2.5 SAT to USB 3.0 enclosure so first install the SSD to the enclosure I'm using the super duper app to clone everything that's on my hard drive to the new SSD so on the copy choose the original hard disk and on the two choose the SSD and press on copy now and after typing in the password it'll ask you do you want to erase it yes and you know just click on the copy and it'll do all the cloning of your hard drive and it'll ask you do you want to use the time machine and I just click on don't use and depending on how much data is on your hard drive it'll take you know 30 minutes to an hour and after you're done it'll ask you to register and I just choose to click on the later and press on OK then shut down iMac and I got these from Amazon it's OWC thermal sensor hard drive replacement kit and this is the temperature sensor which is most important because if you do it without this the cooling fan would just stay on max and run all the time and making your computer really loud so it is important you could also control your fan speed without buying these using software but I chose to use the hardware so it could monitor the temperature so put the suction cup on the top left and top right and generally pull the screen towards you kind of upwards and these are the eight points of where the screws are after taking off eight screws just gently pull the screen towards you and there are four cables that's attached to the motherboard so you take this cable off and another cable right here and there are two cable right below the hard drive on the bottom right and take off the two screws on the top right and top left and that'll take off the hard drive from the motherboard and take off these SATA cable and the power cable from the hard drive you could use some kind of plastic tool to um, get it off now you wanna take off the every screws that's on the existing hard drive and put it on the new SSD with the adapter on the exact same place And there's this foam looking thing um, on the back of the hard drive so pull it off gently and put it on the exact same place on the new SSD. Next install the thermal sensor cable to the motherboard um, to the SATA cable. attach the SATA cable to the new adapter on the SSD and also the power cable and you could also tuck in the cable to um, this metal bracket on the right um, just trying to tuck it in as best as you can and flip it over and you want to install the temperature sensor peel off the tape or the backing paper and place it right in the middle of the new SSD and after putting it on press it firmly 
and these two screws that are sticking out from the adapter there are two holes that'll fit slide right in so put it in gently and you want to screw back in the top right and top left and now put the screen gently on the monitor and tilt it back and connect the four cables that you took off earlier and, and after reconnecting four cables you want to screw back in all the little screws and wipe down the screen with the microfiber cloth make sure there's no dust and putting back the screen gently it should pop right in and you want to press all the sides and the middle and it'll click into place now take off the suction cups and wipe down the screen for the last time and please do this before you turn the Mac on you have to reset the NVRAM to tell the computer there were some hardware changes if you don't do this there might be some weird things um, your iMac will do like flickering or something so make sure you do this right after you press turn on you have to hold option command R and P all four together and after you hear the sound you let it go so hold it wait for the sound and let it go left is before the upgrade and right is after the upgrade so I'm booting it up and on the right you see the logo appearing faster than the before and it's almost halfway now and it's already at the login screen so I'm gonna type in my password and press enter and now it's loaded as you can see it loads so much faster than um, regular hard drive so I do really do recommend the SSD upgrade on the old uh, IMAX and while it's still booting up let me do some other tests so Chrome as soon as you click on it it just loads right up and I'm gonna quit iTunes loads right up and quit App Store loads right up and quit and I'm gonna do a shutdown used to take a minute to shut down so let's see how how fast it shuts down and it's shutting down and now it's off so as you can see SSD upgrade on old iMac it just makes the machine so much faster thanks for watching guys